All right, so if you're stuck on the side of the road and you want to change your tire, my Jeep WK, first thing you gotta do is get the tire down and out. So you'll have to uh, take anything out that's in the back of your vehicle and chuck it on the ground, you know, a few spare parts and what have you. There's a hole here to access the winch. And you've got this uh, got a little tool pouch, which is located right here. It's kind of hard to access it from the back. You almost got to go through the side door and get the pouch out. So you can uh, take the couple pieces here and uh, be able to winch the tire down. So I'm going to try to set up my camera so you can see it. Hopefully it stays where I want. It's a little windy today. I don't have a tripod. So I'm just using a tire. All right. I'm just cranking it counterclockwise. If you're going to go any length of distance, all of your tires have to be the same diameter. So if you have a lift kit and your spare tire is original, that is going to be a problem. You can't. It's going to ruin your four-wheel drive. So you can see I'm just cranking this thing. Putting the tire back up is a bit problematic. If you have a space, I would just throw the uh, bad tire in the vehicle and deal with it later. So we got this down. You can kind of see what's going on in here. You got to get the uh, cable loose enough that you can lift this sort of toggle boat bolt through. But in my case, I don't actually want to get the tire out. I'm trying just to do a job changing a filler neck. But that's sort of the the deal with this. If you're having trouble getting the lugs loose, you can put the uh, tool on. And then just stand up on here and kind of bounce and hopefully you can get them loosened off if you don't have a lot of uh, upper body strength. Don't stab yourself with the uh, end of the tool, that would not be good. So you probably make it a little more horizontal so you can push down on it to get that loosened up. And then when you're tightening it, you need to get it as tight as you can. You don't want to lose your good wheel that you just put on. For lifting the vehicle, I'm not sure. I think you should just check the manual for that. Because this vehicle's got a lift kit, so I don't think I can actually reach with this jack. So I'm just, I don't want to get involved in that. But as far as getting the tire out so you can go, that's good. You should probably put air in your spare tire once a year or so. It's been a long time since that one's been down. But it worked, so that's good. So anyway, thanks for watching.